Hey everyone, this is Bobo from the Now server. I'm here to do episode 3 of, uh, I guess, Mabinogi Q&A with Bobo. And today we have a special guest, Will, obviously, just kind of hanging out right there in the middle of the room. Anyways, I have chosen a total of three questions from you guys from the last episode. And for these questions, it's going to be one, the uh, top answer or top question that was most liked. Uh, then you got the runner-up question, which was ooh, was like such a great question, but unfortunately did not win. And we got the final question, which was uh, the chosen question. So um, before I get into that, I do want to let you guys know that if you guys didn't get your question picked, do not fret. There is always more episodes coming up. So speaking of more episodes, if you guys want to participate in the next episode, just go ahead and follow the instructions below. I'm going to show you guys, boom, right there. Right in the comments below, your server, North American, sorry only, uh, and in-game name. And at this time, one question. Uh, I know we're getting to a point where it's like kind of hard to make Mabinogi questions. So from now on, I will be accepting really just any questions you guys have for me. Uh, questions doesn't have to be Mabinogi related. I kind of want to like hear what kind of wacky questions you guys have to give me. Of course, please keep it clean and appropriate. Um, questions that are not really, you know, none of the questions uh, can be anything in regards to how do I beat this and this and that in the game because uh, that's, that's more of a help me question guide. Uh, so a question that you guys have uh, specifically to me. Um, so go ahead and leave that in the comments below and if I uh, like your question you guys will get picked in the next episode and of course the winning question will receive a $10 comic coin code alright so without further ado let's go ahead and get down to the questions and with this episode we're gonna have will answer them with me all right let's do this all right so first we're gonna start off with the most popular question that was in the chat and that question is oops, shifted my screen a little bit that question is bam right here from the now server uh, from Tamara she asked what do you think about the idea of older players giving newer players a bunch of items right off the bat? Do you think this could hinder their attitude to work for things themselves? So, I don't know. What do you What do you think? Well, like uh, just just straight up give just here's all the good stuff. <laughs> What kind of stuff are we talking about? I mean, like, you know... A good point. Like, I think it does matter what kind of stuff you give to the players. I mean, what if it's stuff that, like, you know, isn't really that, you know, a big deal? What if it's stuff like, I don't know, old gear? I don't know, it's not game-breaking stuff? I think that would be okay. I don't see how it can affect, you know, I don't know why I keep I clicking mean, on I, Will. <laughs> I mean, if it's like, oh, here's, like, two gladiuses, I mean, that's... Uh, that's useless. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Oh, okay. What if you give somebody like a beam sword or something? I mean, those are relatively kind of good as somewhat start that's starting. That depends if you want to spend that kind of money on them. I, I don't know. To, to some people, beam swords are nothing. Um, but I, I feel like if you sad. give something like I don't know, like a CRK to <laughs> a newbie. I feel like if CRKs to newbies. You never know. It's like someone who's who can just well, make them really like no problem. Then I don't think you know they really care. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, giving stuff to players. I think what's wrong, more or less, when it comes to any game, actually, is just kind of carrying them through the game without them trying to learn about the game. I mean, I think giving them stuff kind of handicaps them a little bit, but not to, in a s super bad way. <laughs> like, there's not really anything that can make you s like heavily OP to a new player if you give them something. Yeah, I mean, like, I think it's fine. I mean, it's like, you know, 
when you give them a gladius or beam sword, you know, goblins and kobolds, they die pretty quick. Yeah, that's Since true. they're not gonna have the stats to handle larger, con you know, stronger content anyway. Yeah, see. Um, that, if anything, that makes they're sense. just gonna have to figure out how to pay for the repair bills and all that. And like things like fashion, it's no big deal, it's just clothes. <laughs> yeah, I got like 10 pedicures that you give out or something anyway. <laughs> I, I think like didn't didn't you at one point give some newbie like wings or something? Hell no. No. <laughs> I, mean, I, saw, I saw a guy give him like those sow wings that's only worth like a mil or so, but you know. Yeah. Just because he really wanted wings, I guess you know that guy didn't really want his sow wings, and let's be honest, they don't look good. <laughs> you know. I mean, I think like uh, if I were to go into a game and then I saw people with the wings. I would want one because they seem like an OP or like really like expensive item and maybe it's, it's really debatable some wings are super cheap but if I were to be given wings I don't even know if it's like cheap or not if I were, were to be given wings I would actually like really be happy and actually might be encouraged to stay in the game because <laughs> I don't feel like such a newbie so in my opinion basically I don't think it's gonna be a bad thing yeah all right, next question is going to be the runner-up question, and uh, unfortunately not the winning question, but still one of the best questions I thought was really nice. And this is from the now server, um, Marion. Hopefully I, I pronounced it correctly. And uh, your question is, what do you do when you feel stuck on solo content for the game? How do you handle when you get uh, burnt out from said solo content. <laughs> Play something else. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I was actually thinking. It's like, like, like I, I guess if you get really bored of the game, health-wise, healthy-wise, you should just move on to another game temporarily, and then you know Mabby's always there for you. But let's say you don't want to move on to another game. Let's say you have to just for some reason play Mabby. Maybe Mabby's like the only game you ever know. What would you do? Solo content, though. Yeah, like if you're do if you're all done, kind of burnt out with and all those really solo content. Roll reforges and try to get stronger. Roll like, reforges. We're talking about solo content specifically. Like generation quests, I guess. You know, sometimes people hit to a, a final stop where they just finish everything, and then everything else is now all raids and you know party related stuff. So. But when they say solo content, I assume they mean like just content that they do themselves. I guess it's true. On it. I, I guess, yeah, well, it's just like, how do you handle when you get burnt out and, um, yeah, from said solo content? Well, I mean, if you're stuck on solo content, I don't know, rank up some other skills and stuff, get a little bit stronger, hopefully. <laughs> rank up skills? Hopefully uh... get, you know, tweak your weapons just a little bit, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many things on Mabby to do that, like, for me, mainly, I just mostly do a lot of the event stuff. I feel like that's a lot of what most people do who already have reached end game, in a way. Uh, like, let's say they're already done with all the generation quests, they have decently, you know, gear. Most of the time, they just do what's current events related, um, and that keeps you busy. Uh, if you already maxed out every single skill in the game... That's, yeah. that's all I can think of, is like, like just do events. If you're burnt out, you know, trying to complete something solo, then just take a break, you know? It's yeah. Like when I had to do the Alpen Knights training on heroic mode solo for that title, you know, I almost cried because it was <laughs> so f***ed at the end. Yeah. Ugh. That, that, that's one of the things that can be also discouraging in a game. Like, if you're so burnt out in a game, it will actually make you not like the game as much. So, always take a break. That's oh, Bobo, well, well, are you going to get demonetized because I swore, swear in your video? I'm going to have to bleep that. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for more editing. <laughs> okay, um, next and the final question, the I guess the one question that I found was the best question. Uh, submitted on episode 2 and it is our winning question for the NX prize and that question oh by the way speaking about the NX prize I'm gonna have to unfortunately give it to a maximum of the the whole month 
after I announce the winners to claim your prize. Please, please, please answer my notes. Sometimes I've sent like one or two or three notes and haven't gotten a response back. So, um, if you guys don't check your notes or for some reason, uh, feel free to join my uh, Mavi Bobo Discord group. And you guys will see announcements um, on the winners, or you can also follow my Twitter, and you guys will see that as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave the invites for, and Twitters and all that information in the description below. So, all right. Anyways, final winner, and the final winner is from the Alexina server, IGN, apparently pronounced as Leisha, uh, or Laisha. I'm sorry, Leisha. Leisha. I'm still pronouncing it wrong. Leisha. Uh, and your question is, how do you play more casually? Might be a weird question, but with so many events happening on top of the already boatload of content for new players, it's so easy to get obsessed with making the most out of double AP slash training. Now that's kind of like relative to the last question, but like, I had to actually think about that when you asked that question. I was like, how do you play more casually? And then I thought, Play another game, which is kind of relative to like the last question, but it's more like how do you play more casually in Mavi specifically? Like some people actually really do like to do training and grinding and just kind of leveling up their character, and then that can be really tiring. So, what other stuff in Mavi would you say that is more casual to you know play with? Trying to get everything you can't max out on events, you're not really playing casually anymore, are you? That's true. So I think that's the question is like, like how do you play more casually? <laughs> like, wh like what is something? Like honestly, the events are just casually enough. Um, you just log in, do something, log out, or log in, you know, claim your prize, log out, or AFK. Um, because that's, that's how I see in terms of casual playing. Casual is just like you're not playing it for hours on end. You're just kind of pop in, pop out kind of deal. Yeah, you're, okay. If you're but how to, do you do that like with... If you're trying to play casually and, <laughs> you know, get double AP and just, you know, I don't know, take a day off or something. Ta like every other day play? <laughs> like every, you know, every other day grind in a way? It's like, you know, like I... You know, like there's always double AP or whatever. I'm just like, eh, whatever. It'll come back or something. You know. Yeah, that's true. Like I always thought about that. It's like they're always saying like, oh, you want to get the most out of the double AP, right? But you know what? Double AP, double training, all this stuff always comes back. Um, they always do it every once in a while. They always have like that master plan event. You know, so it it's it's not gonna go away. I mean, it'll come back again. Um, yeah, I mean, and then you can just you know just hoard. Um, training, double t training potions, complete training potions, double whatever talent training potions you want or whatever, and then just wait for a double training event and then you can stack those and get times eight. Yeah, that's true. I do have a I bunch mean, you know, of those training, <laughs> two times training potions in my bank for like a whole day of training. Yeah, you get times two from your talent, times two from a specific training event, uh, potion, and that's already times four, then you slap on a complete two times, that's times eight, and if there's any two times training event, that's times sixteen. Efficiency, basically. <laughs> it's yeah, like, you don't want to suffer really just to two times. Prism on top of that, I don't know if that works, then you do times thirty-two. <laughs> Yeah, see, that makes a lot of sense. It's like, and also events. Like, I know the recent pet stuff, they just had, uh, do they have something for pets training? Or am I wrong? Uh, pet training? I mean, I think they only had that once when the PET up Oh, that, I guess that's considered life training or something like that. But, but, like, that's, I think that's the only way I can think of in terms of playing casually is to just efficiently use the bonuses of the two times training pots and the events as they come but like if you miss the event I wouldn't really worry too much about it because they're, they're always gonna have something and they're always gonna be all these like events that they have in the game gives you stuff that you can really hold on to <laughs> for a while and then train later so uh, that's, I guess that's the only thing I wouldn't worry about. The only thing a lot of people kind of worry about, you know, playing really actively in Mabby is 
that some of the stuff that you can get through events are like very limited like okay you got to do this every every day and if you miss doing this you're gonna miss out on certain novelty items you know chairs outfits or whatever that's stuff if that's like stuff if you even care about that kind of stuff um but at least the good thing is people sell those stuff so they're not really minded to you except if it's a title you know and even with titles nobody really cares about titles nowadays i don't think that matters too much most of the titles are just for for show <laughs> Some that are pretty good. That's true, there are some that are pretty good, but yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's not something I would really worry too uh, much about. You know, I, mean, I guess it'll, it'll really help if you had it, but you know, you can still get by about it. Yeah, especially if you're like a new player, I guess it's great. So, that's, I guess it's my, like, our, our advice in terms of kind of playing casually. Hopefully, that answers your question. Make, make efficiency out of those pots, I guess, and the time that you guys have. I mean, like, it, it's really hard just to, you know, just just to just kind of not take advantage of certain of those events. Because I actually, sometimes I don't. Like, the master plan, I actually did not take advantage of any of those two times trainings or whatever. Alright. Well, that is basically our q and A. I I know it seems really short, but I do want to keep it short for you guys. So that way it's like not too uh, long to kind of like sit through. Uh, we're usually going to now keep it to like three questions, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so feel free to leave those questions again in the comments below. And uh, if you guys get picked, you guys can be a winner for the next episode. Alright, thanks you guys for watching. And like always guys, please, please, please stay awesome.